Emotions are like the weather. Moods, feelings, emotions come from a part of our brain we don't have conscious control over. We don't have direct control over our mood. We can't put ourselves to be happy or make ourselves not be worried. Feelings are similar to the weather. We have about as much control over our emotions as we do the weather. Sometimes you can predict how you're going to feel, just as we can generally predict the weather. Sometimes it just rains and we don't know why. And sometimes it is sunny and shiny. If you are the blue sky and your feelings are the weather, then just as the worst hurricane or tornado can't damage the blue sky and eventually ends, your feelings can't damage you and eventually they will pass. Sometimes we just have to wait out the storm. Does that mean it's fun to live through a tornado or a rainstorm? Of course not. Is it easier to live your life when it's sunny and 80 degrees compared to when it's rainy and stormy? In these uncomfortable times, it can be easy to adopt unhealthy means of dealing with our emotions such as trying to fight against them, getting swept up in them and of identifying with them. Learning to understand and accept our interior world is an important skill to cope with the many waves of moves that will come our way throughout life. It might be difficult for you to understand what is the weather inside of you, because as kids you lack understanding of emotion. So follow this recommendation. Sit down comfortably somewhere, close or half close your eyes, and take some time to determine how you are feeling right now. What is the weather like inside you? Do you feel relaxed and sunny inside? Or does it feel rainy or overcast? Is there a storm raging, perhaps? What do you notice? Once you feel a very pleasant and amazing sunny weather with blue and cloudless sky. After a while you will notice clouds on your blue sky and the weather will be completely different again. And that is absolutely fine. So happens with your mood. Moods change. They blow over. There is no need to take any action. What a relief. Let's say you didn't take the time out for yourself, and you didn't connect, and things didn't go quite the way you had hoped. That happens sometimes, let's face it, that happens a lot, and it's okay. Our brains have emotion centers that make it hard for us to keep things under control all the time as well, and now we get the chance to model that when people lose their cool. So, moods are changeable and, unfortunately we cannot choose a mood for ourselves the end thanks for watching